What's up guys, for today's video we'll be taking a look at the all new 2020 Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss Then I'll show you many of the features on the interior, exterior and we'll be taking a look at this truck's 5 year cost to own at the end of the video So sit back, relax and enjoy So when Chevrolet came out with the Silverado Trail Boss in 2019, their main reason was to compete with trucks like the Ford Raptor, Ram Rebel and Tundra TRD. Although these trucks have been in the market for over years and established their name as a rugged off-roader, the Silverado has few options up its sleeve, like the Z7X 2-inch factory suspension lift and the beautiful off-road tires and wheels. My current tester is finished in shadow grey metallic exterior and complemented with very dark atmosphere grey cloth interior. Although this truck has the optional convenience package, 20 inch wheels, and many more, which made my tester has a window sticker of $54,000 after options. And the engine on this off-road monster is the 5.3 liter V8 that makes 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque that's connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission that sends the power to all four wheels and it can tow up to 9,400 pounds. And as for fuel economy, the V8 makes 16 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon in the highway with a 19-gallon fuel tank capacity. So on the driver door you have the window control, the driver's side window is fully automatic, right above it you have the window lock, mirror controls, you also have the door handle with lock and unlock, you have a small storage, bottle holder and the bow speaker, and on the left hand side steering wheel you have the automatic light control, the tailgate light, the instrument cluster light, you also have the four wheel drive control and sport mode and tow mode. And on the steering wheel, you have leather wrapped four spoke steering wheel. On the left hand side, you have your cruise control with the heated steering wheel. You have the blacked out bow tie. The controls for the screen and the, the voice command. And behind the steering wheel, you have the windshield wiper control. And you have the eight speed automatic transmission with manual mode. And on the screen you have your speed, your range, you have your distance, trip A, B, fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, air filter life, brake pads, engine hours, blank page, 
you also have your music, your navigation, your phone, and settings. You have speed warning, home page information, information page, units. And right along the center console, you have the 8 inch color screen. Right below, you have the radio controls, dual zone climate control, heated seats. You have the low speed cruise control, the auto start tailgate open, hazard, traction control, and the power outlet. You also have the trailer brake, the USB-C, the USB, and a 12 volt power outlet, and a regular house outlet. You also have small storage, two cup holders, and in the center console you have another USB-C, USB, auxiliary cord, and an SD card. And on the screen, you have your audio with Series XM. You also have your phone, Wi Fi hotspot. You have your personal user. You can customize the vehicle for different drivers. You also have the settings Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have the trailing. You can track the status of miles, fuel economy, electrical connection, and demands with alerts. You can also set up customer head shake checklist and the uh, trailer brake. You also have different apps that you can install, the OnStar service, the climate control, and the rear camera. You have the guidance lines. And on the window sticker, the standard vehicle price is 47500 They added the convenience package. The 20 inch painted aluminum wheels. The black assist steps. They also added the bed protection and the trailer brake. Which made this truck has a window sticker of 53900 Here's the final assembly. 5 star safety ratings and fuel economy and on this graph you can see this truck's five-year cost to own and i have to say it's not a cheap one at the price of 38,800 loss in five years the depreciation of this truck is 10,700 fees and taxes paid is around 3,000 with the biggest hit in the beginning of the purchase fuel paid depends on how you drive and how many miles you put on it is around 7,300 insurance is around 6,000 interest comes around four thousand dollars and maintenance which is the most important factor is four thousand dollars in five years which is not too bad and last but not least repair comes to eighteen hundred dollars so overall this truck is not a bad investment but think wisely before purchase thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more